Hello and welcome to Wednesday. Today is the first normal day I've had in quite some time because we've had company for a week. Chaz and Jeff arrived last Tuesday and Alex and Haley just left yesterday. So today was the first normal day I've had, went back to work and got a lot of stuff done, which is exciting. One of the things that I got done was Thomas's wedding vlog, which was 43016. And I gotta admit, I'm really proud of it. If you haven't seen it, I would really urge you to go watch it. One of the things I'm most proud of um, is the fact that it's so concise. It's very, very concise. Uh, it's under 13 minutes, which may seem long for a YouTube video, but between the footage that both I and Dan shot, it was over 45 minutes. And the same can be said for the vlog before that, which was the uh, whether welcoming reception, the rehearsal dinner. Um, I think that came in at like eight minutes, and there was like 45 minutes of that too. Just in general, I'm really proud of the stylistic changes that we've made on the vlog, but one of the biggest things I'm proud of is how concise the vlog has become. That's a good problem to have. And that is a problem that did not exist. A problem that did not exist? It's something that the old vlogs don't have. A lot of old vlogs, uh, especially from several years ago, have a very casual style to them, which is okay. Um, but in doing that, the vlogs realistically become a lot longer than they need to be. Um, I would say that for any random vlog that you watch between, I don't know, 2010 and 2014, there's probably a good chunk of that vlog that's really not that important. It doesn't add anything to the video or it's just repeating information. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it, it was. Um, I had a thought today, and I'm not saying I would do this, so don't hold me to it. But when I was editing this vlog and, and saying how, how good I felt about it and how concise it was, I thought, man, wouldn't it be kind of fun to go back and edit some old vlogs? And I'm not trying to pull a George Lucas here, although I guess in a way I, I would. Um, although he's editing like three films and I'd be editing like one of like 2,500 videos, so it's not that big of a deal, I think. Um, but how would you feel about that? How would you feel if I randomly grabbed an old vlog and said, you know what? This is this long, it could totally be this long, and it would still have the same information. I want to make it, you know, tighter. How would you feel? Would that completely ruin the experience for you? Um, and how would you feel if I did that, but kept the originals? You know, what if I kept that original vlog that you had originally watched in 2010, that you remember so well, and that was in a separate playlist? Um, that kind of thing. Is that like a positive experience? Is that a negative experience? Or is it fairly neutral? Um, it's not something I'm, I'm even saying I'm gonna do, because Lord knows I don't have time to do it. I'm still working on this, I have a bunch of stuff on Let's Plays, um, but it's just something that crossed my mind. I was just curious what the like gut reaction from the vlog audience is. Is it something like, actually cool, yeah, I'd actually love to go, I'd love to retake the journey with it, you know, recut, so it was, you know, I, <laughs> I hate to use this, but Steven Vlog Kai, you know, where it's like more, uh, succinct and has, you know, just kind of the important stuff. Um, or is that something where you think, oh, the, no, no, you're taking something that has existed for years and you're messing with it, you should just leave it alone. Not announcing that I'm doing this, I'm just curious what your thoughts are. A lot of people don't know, but this has actually happened before. Uh, one or two years ago there was a copyright scare on Steven Vlog and uh, it made me realize there was probably a lot of old copyright stuff that was in the videos in 2009 and 2010. Uh, I actually had a group of friends go through, watch those videos, and make a list for me of any potential copyright issues, and I pulled all those videos down, edited them, and put them back up. So if you're ever watching a vlog that was shot in 2010, and you notice that the upload date was like 2014, that's probably why. It's because it had something in it that it probably shouldn't have had in it, pulled it down, took it out, and put it back up. Um, in some cases for those vlogs, I also did a little touch-up work. I never really announced that, and it's not really a big deal, but on some of those vlogs when I took them down to cut out the material that needed to be cut out, I also was like, eh, I could cut this a little bit, cut that a little bit, and it didn't change the overall product at all, but, you know, I, I think it helped um, make it a little more concise, which is what this entire vlog was about. So, um, being concise, good, bad, or should you leave the past alone? I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Once again, don't get excited or nervous that this is a real thing because I'm way too busy to make it a reality, but just curious to hear what the audience thinks of all of that. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?